Hi, everybody. I want you to meet Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie is my mixologist, and she's going to be training you guys. For the bar, John brings in Lisa Marie Joyce, TGI Friday's 2014 Master Bar Trainer. With her quick wit and brilliance behind the bar, Lisa Marie can turn any sloppy steward into a graceful bartender. Hello, guys. Hello. So let's talk about last night. I saw a lot of you sitting at the bar berating the staff. Need me to come mic for you? I need you to do something to sit on your ass. Cody, give me a shot. Oh. <laughs> Jump back there and help him. And be like, oh, I can see you're a little behind. Obviously, you couldn't do that in your inebriated state. So let me break it down. There are three dynamics to being a great bartender. Personal dynamics, which we know is our personality. We've got interactive dynamics, which is how well we work together. And that's what we're really gonna look at on stress test tonight. And the third one is mechanical. Actually, how do you make the drink? So I wanna start with the two people who do not work together very well. Dad and son, I'm gonna ask you to come back here and you're gonna play a little game with me, okay? Step on up. Okay. <laughs> Memphis Blue is a cocktail that you guys kind of named yourselves. So I want you guys to make that cocktail. But there's a twist. If you're going to make the cocktail tied together, then I am going to need you all to take on the role of old Brian. Oh, and I want you to cause as much of a ruckus on that side of the bar as he did last night, OK? Being back behind the bar with my dad, oh, that didn't sound good. We're fundamentally different on how we do things. Hey, give me a shot, Brian. Shot, Just ignore them. I, I don't even know what you're doing, Cody. Where's, you Where's the ice cream? Come on, Brian. Come on. This is taking way too long it's to too make this Why aren't you fired yet? Get it together. Hey, that's not enough. That's a weak shake. Come on. What? You're a man, right? Oh. It wasn't fun. It was really, really nerve wracking. <laughs> So I understand how nerve-wracking it was for the uh, bartender, for me sitting out here acting like a fool. <laughs> Memphis yes. Blues. OK, it's definitely out of proportion. <laughs> so here's the point of this. We've all got to be on the same page and build each other up together, because if we're all up here, how freaking amazing are we going to be, guys? Being able to work together, I think it created positive vibes, better energy, and I think it's going to help us work better tonight together. One thing that I did see there wasn't memory of drinks. For a bartender, you should be able to remember eight orders at one time, be able to execute that and give it back to the person that ordered it. We're gonna work on that and I've got a little game. I'm gonna put out eight coasters here in front of you. Okay. You're gonna have a few seconds to look at each coaster and then you have to make all the drinks and put it on the correct coaster. Okay. Go, look at all your drinks, check it out and then flip it back over. There you go, there you go. I think I might have some of them in the wrong order. OK, so one, two, three, four. So 50% of your guests are happy. For the first time, not bad. When you're behind a bar, you got to be able to take a bunch of drink orders while having conversations, while bringing things in, while cashing people out. And that first round of drink orders you just took in your head, you got to be able to make it and give them back to those people. 50-50 as well. We're going to do some practicing, and we got to make sure you can remember up to eight orders at a time. All right, let's get to work and practice. All right. The test was nerve-wracking, but I understand the importance of it, so I am really confident in myself for tonight to try to do better. Wait about 25 minutes for the burger. The burger's cold, really not any flavor to it. Tater tots are really, really salty, but I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat them. Hopefully, I'll have to use my shirt, though. I don't have any napkins. Oh, I forgot to put ice in it. No! Never, never, never! It's already chipped right here. It's already, we gotta get new ice. Burn the ice. We're burning ice. You do not scoop with the glass. It's not a joke. Glass is for real. It cuts people. And it's taken us like a half an hour to get this ice out. I don't understand. Let's go, guys. We gotta move. Right. My name's Lisa Marie. It's not sweetheart. We're busy helping people that never come here. We need more people to come here. Do you realize how much money this man is losing? We can't just have you guys in here. We've gotta have more people. This isn't JJ's. Oh my god, that is the exact problem with this bar. The clubhouse is pissed off because there's new people here. JJ's going to lose his ass and you won't have a bar to go to. How about that? This is why we're losing right here, John. What? Because these guys right here were pissed off they didn't get their drinks right away because they said all the bartenders are waiting on the new faces. They're pushing customers out. And that right there is why he's going to lose his ass. They've been bitching the whole time. 
What's your problem, guys? The fact that he's actually making money tonight? Is that what's bumming you out? Because we're not going to make money on you, are we? I don't want you chasing away my other customers. Do you blame me? You think this is funny? The fact of the matter is I'm building this bar for them. We're grateful. Well, then act that way or leave. Do you understand? Let me get my drink and I'll worry. Why don't you just go now? Because you made yourselves look like ass. I'm sorry. Be a good guy, man. Meet some new people. Hey, dudes, if you guys are going to be dicks, you're going to have to go. Not cool. Seriously. Right, we'll chill out. Just because you. Not just because of me, it's just chill out. If you're going to be a kick rocks. I just told him if they didn't like what was going to happen here or any changes, then don't be here. OK, so let's talk a little bit about last night. It was insane in here. We need to keep ourselves and the experience controlled back here. So teamwork tonight is going to be very important. Under the box is ingredients for a classic cocktail. And we need to work as a team to figure out what cocktail it is and then make it for me. <laughs> Your ingredients are going to be vodka, lemon juice, simple syrup, and I have a lemon. We'll fill that with ice, but I don't know what cocktail I make. What, what kind of glass is that? Uh, Collins. OK. So. Think about that. Vodka Collins. It's right. It's so obvious, right? A vodka Collins. Make it. I'm kind of lost on this drink. What do you think? Sugar. Use the shaker. Now you need something from the gun, and I don't know. I think it's soda. I think it's, um, why was I thinking tonic? No? Club, club. You think club? Final club. answer? Do you want to phone a friend? Let's phone a friend, Lee. Ring, 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 ring. No, what was the question? What was the question? the question? OK, Lee, I'm sorry. I'm up to here because I've been watching you fall asleep. Sure. This is your bar, dude. And you don't give a I'm not saying I don't give a Honestly, I'm very frustrated. And I'm like, in my mind, they should know some of these drinks. And that's why I'm here to train them. Being a bar owner, you got to study and know your and you train them. Otherwise, I'm going to leave. You're going to go right back to being Eeyore playing pool. And these girls are going to go back to doing whatever the they want because you don't care. I agree, and I apologize. So sorry. What do we think goes on top of that? Tonic, tonic, tonic. tonic. Eh, it's wrong. Oh, okay. oh, oh, oh. I'm a little nervous because these bartenders have huge personalities, but no skill to back up their talk. So we've got to make sure that we can rock out stress test tonight. There you go. Tonight, I got a hundred people from the industrial neighborhood. Two blackberries. Pineapple. You want the pineapple? To really check Lee's performance, I'm handing out red penalty cards placed out by Lisa Marie or Aaron. That's the lemon bitters. Rhubarb goes into that one. This business is all about guest satisfaction. If less than a third of the guests say they won't come back, the business is going to fail. We short for it, which means we got to start all over. OK. Mm. So I'm giving out 100 cards tonight. If more than a third of those cards come back, then yes, we're unhappy, and this bar is going to fail. Have you got a drink yet? Here you go. You just hold up that red card. Ladies, I love you, but we have to move faster. Let me try the giant meatball for us. How we doing? There's a backup here, isn't there? Yes. Yep. Can you imagine if you had your own POS system? Well, how much faster you'd be? Yes. Where do we order the food from? There we go. They need some food, Lee. Okay, okay give me one second. One of you guys definitely gonna have to get from behind the bar. We got. Well, now you left. How the f do you function here? We ignore him. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, he's like, Lee has never spent a day in a bar in his life. He's going in 10 different directions. These girls are focused. All three of them are over here paying attention to these guests. The tables still don't have any drinks. They're just not respecting Lee. Oh, not even a little bit. I don't see her order in there. Oh, you get a double red card. There are now more customers with red cards in front of them than there aren't. Nothing is coordinated. Lee is here, but he's not managing. He's just reacting, and the problem is, his reactions suck. You guys got to do better. I mean, you know what I mean? We're doing as much as we can. Makes me look bad. Lee, come here right now. Did you just tell one of your bartenders they're making you look bad? Yeah. Are you kidding me? You know who's doing a bad job right now? Me. It's you. If these girls weren't here, you'd need a life jacket, baby, because you'd be drowning. All right. Get the out of the bar. He is not supporting his staff. He's not supporting his guests. In the end, he's making himself look like an idiot. People in the room, ladies. How many whiskey sours can I get over here? Five, six, seven. We can only do the specialty cocktails, or you can do a draft beer. What's up, bud? Hey. Yeah, how you doing? Double hand this. Put them on both sides and pour them both at the same time. 
Yeah, there you go. Okay. Good, good. And then you guys, one of you had this hour. Danny. Okay, too much what? for me back here, huh? So at this point, uh -huh. there's a room full of people. So we've got people ordering cocktails, which you can't make. That's okay. Yeah. See if you can help Bree out of the service bar. This beer has what? lipstick on it. Hey, Bree, I got two schooners. Uh, pints. We can only do pints. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. How's your drink? This bourbon is so awesome. All my friends are so awesome. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Boy, I thought those are pretty damn good. They're, they're, they are good. They're just, they haven't had this many people in this room right. for a really long time. Yeah. Let's go, Dan. You know what you're doing here, yes, buddy? Yes, sir. Are you keeping an eye in the kitchen, too? I'm going to go there in a few okay, minutes and check it out. Keep an eye on it. Right now, it's a full house. Everything's kind of chaotic, and I don't want to look like an idiot. <laughs> are you Are you helping? I am helping you, Dan. What do you need? Um, I need a whiskey press as fast as one of them can get to. Along with all of these other tickets that are here, but they're busy with all this and your other owners can't even finish pouring a beer. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. We finally got our food here. We got one item instead of our three food entrees. Danny. Yes. Why is my girl Brie over here drenched in sweat, running around, doing her dishes, dumping this, dumping that, making this? Why do I have four owners and I've got tickets out the mother wazoo? Somebody has got, got to help these okay. girls out. Lisa. Let's get Justin helping out. What can he do? You gotta get these beers out of here. Draft beer is killing you guys. Oh my god. Yeah, this is insane. Now I gotta get rice. You're the beer guy. Right. I can't even get in there. We can't do service bar, Sean. Wow. Danny couldn't even pour beer when I asked him to pour beer. And then I put Justin on beers, and this is what it looks like now. Justin's gone. So we have owners who literally don't do anything. No, oh, those are my glasses. No, you, them. you, already, put, you already put them in. Let's look at these. Are you done? They're OK? Yeah. For Let's try it. You got the glove on. Let's touch these. Make sure they're stand up straight. Let's do this one, too. Danny's lack of experience behind the bar is evident. And people migrate where they're comfortable. And Danny's migrating in the kitchen. He might be protecting his standards there, but he's certainly not backing up his staff behind the bar where he's needed most. Marcus, Danny, look at this beer being wasted. Guys, if you saw this, would you want to order a beer? I mean, come on, guys. We're killing our own business visually. I'll pour beer right now. I'm going pour beer. Folks, our beer sucks. Take a look. Hey! Let's advertise them. Let's let everybody know. Put it out here so they can all see it. Our beer sucks. Well, this is stress test with a capital S. How's Danny doing in the kitchen? He's coming in and he's trying his best, but they don't know how to run the window. And it's putting more and more pressure on the kitchen. Is Danny's presence a plus or a negative behind the bar? All of the owners are negatives behind the bar. Now, I've got great bartenders down there, but they can't shine with owners that don't know what they're doing. Danny's moving, I'll give him that. But these employees would perform if we trained them and gave them the tools. Absolutely. All right. OK. Danny is, in fact, trying. Yep, we failed. But we failed with our owner trying rather than watching. Hi. Hi. Where can I get for you guys? Uh, Martini. Martini? OK. Some of those Godfathers have that. Godfather? Yeah. Okay. The Godfather boy, it should be scotch and amaretto. That's my drink, you know. The Godfather's your drink? That's what I drink. What? I've been drinking Godfathers for many years. I love Godfathers. But I'll tend to just put, you know, the classic recipe is an ounce and a half of scotch, half ounce of amaretto, right? Yeah. Uh, I would just put a few drops, so I do a little dry. I so do I'll do little scotch, bit. just a few drops of amaretto for me. Got it. You know, in an old historic bar like this, you should be able to get a nice classic. Oh, yeah. absolutely. What are you looking for? I just need a shake out. A whole bunch of shakers down there. But did I have to do it like this? Are, I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm, I'm sorry. making a martini. Making a martini? So he's teaching her how to bartend. Look. In the middle of So the she shake. doesn't know what to do. Can you shake it like this? Nope. Make the drink in that, then use the shaker tin. You're using the wrong glass. Okay, I got, it, I got it, I got it, I got it. You got it? The best way to learn is behind the bar. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. That's go. up the street. And you wanted to start a tab, yes? Yeah. I think that's pear gin. 
tried to order a Godfather. That was terrible. She claimed that she went to bartending school. I don't think she'd ever drank before in her life. Can I just get like a Jack and Coke? You don't like that? Yeah, it's a little, I, I, got, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> they can't drink that drink. If I show you this recipe, can you make me this drink? Sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So look how awkward this is. She wants to see the drink. knees. I have no idea what a bee's knees is. The bee's knees was created in the Prohibition when they were making gin in bathtubs. So the gin tasted like absolute <laughs> What they did to it was cover up the gin with lemon and honey syrup. I don't, I don't have this stuff. This is ridiculous. Three simple ingredients, gin, some honey, and lemon. Here's what I want to do. We've never done this before. I want you to go in alone. Sit down at the bar, order an old-fashioned. The minute it's wrong, jump up, go behind the bar, show them how to do it. With pleasure. All right, bust them. All right. What's the sasquatch? Where's the gin? I'll get as close as I can. Most of these things I've never even seen before. Oh, I need to see the rest of it. What was it? Simple syrup and simple syrup and okay, I got it. <laughs> Watching this owner and bartender work together is infuriating. It took forever for me to get their attention and make me a drink. They pride themselves in the legacy of Las Vegas, yet they're not putting out anything. Can I help you with anything? Hey, I'm so sorry. Oh, no worries. Yeah, we're short on bartenders. I was just wanting, oh, that's oh, I'll I just wanted an old fashioned, if that's okay. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll tell him to. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right. The lady has been waiting over there. She's been wanting a drink. An old fashioned, please. Old fashioned? Okay. Old fashioned at a bar. No. Old fashioned. Muddle and orange and cherry. Uh, bitters and simple syrup, and then it's a bourbon and soda. That's all there is there. You got that? No. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay. Orange, cherry. When he made that old fashioned, it looked disgusting. Greg muddled a bunch of fruit in it. There's nope. club soda. I'm gonna jump behind the bar and teach him how to make it right. It's 475. Hi, what's your name? Greg. Greg? I'm yes. Lisa Marie. Nice to meet you. Nice Lisa Marie. to meet you. <laughs> Who taught you how to make an old fashioned? I, it would have been 30 years ago, I couldn't tell you that. Yeah? Can I teach you how to make an old fashioned? Sure. Okay. She doesn't know what he's doing. Number one, if you're going to step behind the bar, whether you're training or not on a Friday night, you got to at least know your basic drink, okay. like hands down. Okay, so let's make an old fashioned, all right? Put your cube in there. We're going to put a couple dashes of bitters. Now we're going to muddle. Make sure you get that sugar in there. Go ahead and throw in your cherry. Get those flavors in there. Okay, so we got two ounces of booze. You're gonna fill that glass all the way to size, and now tell me you have a bar spoon. I own one, I don't know where it is. You guys don't even have like classic tools. Is there even a strainer? I'm, I don't know where it Do is. Do you have a spoon of any kind? <sighs> your menu that you have out for your guests right here says fine food. So if it says fine food, I assume that you have silverware, right? Do you have food? I do not have food. Okay, so we got a menu that's a liar. Great. We have no way to make this cocktail. I've never been a craft bartender. I've never worked in a craft bar. But this is not a craft cocktail. This is just basic cocktail. You no, know, I've been making them that way for years in about 50 plus different bars. That's bull. I've never been questioned on it before, so. That's bull. These are ones that your rat pack that you all love so much that came to this bar, that's what they drank. You have a Vegas legacy. What are you here for? Well, right now I'm here to help her. That's all I can do. That, that's really sweet, but you need to help you, babe. <laughs> You're the owner. Are you making any money? No. No, right. You have got to put talent back here to keep this bar a legacy or you will keep losing money over and over and over and over and over again. And then it doesn't matter what wallpaper's on the wall, nobody's <laughs> gonna come in here. How do you feel? I don't think that it was intentional, but I think that tonight was train wreck, embarrassed, I guess. Why is she the only one showing up? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lisa Marie, do me a favor. Fix all their drinks and set them up properly so at least I know they had a good experience. Okay, baby, ready? We're gonna do this together. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
gonna take these over to that group of people. Two whiskey sodas, here's your whiskey ginger ale and whiskey ginger beer. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.